Welcome back everyone, another Two Minute Tuesday and we were pretty damn close last time so let's see if we can crack it this time. So this is for Final Cut users and you know, I didn't think I needed this till I tried it and you can try it for free as well. Um, and we're looking here, Final Cut Library Manager. And this is a piece of software here and literally wherever you've got Final Cut uh, library stored you can put into here and see I've just got the one that I'm just demonstrating here ticked it allows me to see and manage my final cut libraries now I don't use this as my be all and end all but you can but what it does allow me to see is how much render I've got in there how much render files so I've got 37 meg not too big but actually on my server I managed to save 137 gig the other day on stuff that's stored away that doesn't need render files. It's amazing for that. So we can do render, we can do optimization files, we can do proxy and we can do flow. I don't tend to take out the flow. I've got to be honest because I've got it there for a reason and I just leave it just in case anything gets updated. But the rest of the stuff I take out and I've saved loads. The other thing it'll tell you is if you've got files missing. Um, let's go down to this one here. External files. It tells me they're on a hard drive that isn't there anymore. And it tells me what they were called. So I can go and find them and put them back and consolidate into the library as well. That's really useful to know. So I can see all of my library files here that's on this drive, all the problems with it. And this one says there's some files missing and again, it tells me where they are and it's right they're not there anymore I've moved them now I've got to go and find where I've let me move them to but I've moved them so we've got a whole load of stuff there and I can go through and fix those I can look at the storage and store them over onto an external hard drive it's really really useful for that loads of features on it I'm not going to go into how to use it go and get it it's really self-explanatory really easy once I've selected something into there like that, I click the clean button down here. I can either delete it completely or send to trash. I'm confident enough with the delete completely because I don't use it. So there you go, gone. Zero bytes, just removed everything for me. It's that, that easy. The free version, um, you have to pay if you want to delete some of the stuff. I think some of it's free, some of it you have to pay for. Well, it's donationware, I think it's classed as really worth doing if you are a final cut person hope that helps hope that's well within the two minutes today look forward to seeing you on the next one